Ah, uh, yes, let's talk about Ilona Marr and that freestyle, shall we? It was, in a word, spectacular. No, no, no. Spectacular doesn't quite cut it. Let's go with iconic. Yes, iconic. The costume reveals, three of them, mind you, the phrase, never been better, Carrie Ann, perfection. And the way she closed her journey with such grace and charisma, it was nothing short of jaw-dropping. Honestly, I got goosebumps, I got teary-eyed, and I questioned everything I thought I knew about dance. Alan, the choreographer of this little slice of history, gave us a routine that showcased Alona as a true feminine phenomenon. I mean, this was a rugby player turned dancing queen, and she owned every second. She had strength, she had comedy, and she had this extraordinary presence. It was a freestyle that didn't just close a season, it set a benchmark. And if you weren't smiling through it, well, you might need to check your pulse. Now, was it all sunshine and roses? Of course not. Some would have us believe she didn't deserve to be there, that the show has lost its way. To those detractors, I say, nonsense. Ilona brought creativity, elegance, and yes, a touch of madness. Because that's what great art does. It challenges us, it provokes, it lifts us, quite literally, if you're Alan and Ilona. She even gagged Carrie Ann, which frankly is an achievement in itself. This wasn't just a dance, it was a story, a journey, a revelation. I've been better, Carrie Ann, to never been better, Alona grew before our eyes. She redefined what it means to be a champion, even if she didn't take home the trophy. She left us with something far greater, a performance etched in memory. So, to the Ilona detractors, the naysayers, the too much talking, not enough dance brigade, I suggest you look again. Because what you saw wasn't just a dance, it was a declaration. A moment that said, loud and clear, that Ilona Marr is here, she is magnificent, and she will never, ever be forgotten.